the only thing which doesn't change is change itself these beautiful lights across the universe are changing too but it is too slow for us to observe we humans are too tiny for these changes too tiny with respect to these cosmic scales the only thing in us which can match this cosmic colossal is our mind In the last episode I have used a Celestron Astromaster 130 EQ telescope to take the image of the Orion Nebula using Raspberry Pi high quality camera controlled by robot operating system and uh, this time I tried to build my own 8 inch telescope so those who are interested in software part of this project uh, please check the description of this video This time I started my project by creating 3D modeling of the telescope in Blender. This is helpful to construct a robust structure of the telescope and also dimension calculation gets really easy. I have printed most of the parts using 3D printer and for the rest of the objects I have used carbon fiber and aluminum T slot extrusions and uh, after a long one month of uh, effort I finally created the first version of this telescope. I must say it was looking pretty awesome. After building the first version of the telescope, I tried to integrate the RPI HQ camera and uh, updated raw setup with it. And then uh, for testing, I took few images of the night sky. And the target was Jupiter. Well, as I was expecting, the first image of the Jupiter didn't come well. Uh, it was too bright and also the satellite of the Jupiter was coming quite blurry. As you can see in the inset it has a huge collimation issue and in order to resolve it I used my own DIY collimator uh, but uh, considering it's a first shot and using a uncontrolled and uncollimated telescope uh, it's not too bad actually Since this is a custom telescope, uh, the collimation technique is not quite orthodox. So usually uh, you adjust the secondary mirror first and then you move to the primary mirror. Uh, but uh, for me, I had to adjust the level of the primary mirror first and then uh, use the knobs to adjust the primary mirror uh, for the fine tuning.
Along with the manual finder scope, I have added this camera finder scope which can help to analyze a larger viewing area and then with respect to a brightest object uh, in the sky, as a reference I can target any object and maintain the relative distance. And for the tracking, I have added these threaded rods uh, for altitude and the azimuth control. Uh, these threaded rods have uh, one millimeter pitch and connected uh, with three RPM motors. These motors are connected with uh, L298N motor driver, which I'm controlling using uh, ROS from the Raspberry Pi. We human always try to expand the boundary of knowledge. This is our nature. This expansion of knowledge is never ending process and so as this universe may be. These far distance objects are constant reminders of vast ignorance of our knowledge, but so beautiful and so real. That's why I love to see them forever. Myself Jilam and this is what I love, uh, this is what I do.